Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to be showing you a desk that I recently made to house video equipment. At the church that I'm a member of, we recently upgraded our equipment to accommodate online viewers. And since I operate this video equipment, I saw a desperate need for a new desk due to the fact that we have so much more equipment and wires than previous. Besides the fact that our current video desk is plastic and unstable, this small space could use a better layout and cord management. Using SketchUp, I drafted a 3D model of a new desk that would fit the space and our new equipment. Let's get this project started. To begin the desk build, I headed over to my friend's workshop at Lakeside Woodworks in Georgetown, Kentucky. Due to the size of the desktop, I asked for their help in making the top because it's too big to be made in my workshop. To start the process, Chris used the slab master to join one side of each eight quarter cherry board. Using a planer, we then proceeded to surface plane the opposite side to make sure each piece is cold planer. Nick used a track saw to straight line rip one side of each board, then the crew used a table saw to cut each board so the desktop would meet its final dimension of 24 and a half inches in width. For large glue ups like this, Lakeside has a wall mounted panel clamp system. When a panel is secure in a system like this, it allows for other surfaces in the workshop to be free so that work can continue. After the glue had cured, Kevin and I proceeded to take the top out of the clamps to scrape the glue off one side. We could then plane both sides of the desktop, starting with the scrape side on the bottom. The track saw was again used to cross cut the desktop to its final length of 8 feet. To make the sides of the base, I decided to make a template on my CNC machine using quarter inch underlayment. After the CNC finished, I cut the tabs and used a flush trim bit to clean the edges. For the base of the desk, I'm using 3 quarter inch birch plywood. Using my track saw, I cut the back supports. This track saw is new to me and I love the ability to rip 8 foot sections. Using the template, I penciled the outline so I can rough out the profile using my bandsaw. For now, I'm cutting one left and one right side. With the help of double-sided tape, I stuck the template to each side and used a flush trim bit to get a clean cut. Off camera, I rough cut two additional side pieces. I glued two sets of two together to create one and a half inch thick sides. To prevent the pieces from sliding out of place, I used brad nails to tack them together. Once the glue had dried, I was able to flush trim the rough cut edges and now my sides are complete. For the base assembly, I'm using pocket hole joinery. This desk will be placed against a wall so the pocket holes will not be visible since they are being drilled from the rear of the desk. I'm only showing a few of the pocket holes being made to shorten the length of the video.
While I have the desk at a convenient location, I use my biscuit jointer to cut slots for clips to be used to fasten the top to the base. For the short shelf that goes on top of the desk, I'm using four quarter cherry. Since the boards I have are relatively flat, I started with planning first. In order to glue the boards together, I jointed the edge simultaneously to make a perfect seam. Using my table saw, I ripped each piece so that I could meet my final width dimension of nine inches. Once the glue had cured, I ran the shelf through my planer to clean each side. I then used my table saw to cross cut the shelf to its final dimension of 5 feet. To sand the desktop and shelf, I used 80, 120, 150, and 220 grit. Watching sanding is dull, so I cut that part of the video short. Using a roundover bit, I routed the top and bottom of the desk so that it's comfortable when a person's arm is resting on it. I placed a smaller roundover on the shelf to match the desktop. Before painting, I used a gray primer so that the paint didn't soak into the plywood. After the primer, I applied a black semi-gloss paint. I realized that spray paint isn't the ideal finish, but this desk is going in small quarters, which is also low lit, and because of that, I didn't feel the need to spend a lot of money on a more expensive finish. To apply a finish to the cherry top and shelf, I used Odie's oil. I love the easy application of this stuff. It's wipe on, wait a while, and buff off. A little of Odie's oil goes a long way. I think I used too much when applying because there was residual on the top. No worries though, I was able to buff it to a smooth finish. <laughs> 